The DAV is the Disabled American Veterans. Uh, actually, it's been around since 1920, so we're, we're hitting a 100-year anniversary, and it came out of World War I, where after the war was done, uh, veterans banded together that had service-connected injuries. And when soldier, sailor, airmen, uh, uh, Coast Guard, Marines go to war, um, there's a promise that uh, the American public keeps to them. And we do everything we can to ensure that that promise is maintained and that veterans live lives of dignity and respect. Uh, what I find very unique with uh, the Disabled American Veterans, um, besides being one of the premier organizations in the United States, um, when we spend money, 85 cents to the dollar, that's incredible. And we do everything we can to ensure that we help our area veterans. So we're very actively engaged, and, and I need to share that DAV Chapter 17 of Winnebago County. Uh, we're called the Ray H. Fuller Chapter. Uh, in 2016 and 2017, we actually received the award as the outstanding chapter in the state of Wisconsin. So we're, when you're involved with this chapter here, you're involved with the best. The purpose of the DAV is to help veterans that have been wounded in war and have a disability. Uh, we stand for advocacy, uh, service, and legislation. Then uh, we push a lot of the legislation to get stuff through Congress and, and all that to take care of the veterans. Mm -hmm. Like the Vietnam veterans, we did not have anything when we came back. In fact, uh, they didn't take care of good care of us at all and we tried to make sure that the veterans that come home now at least get some recognition. Uh, there's a lot of them that slip through the cracks so and you end up with people doing the suicide thing and we don't need that. Mm -hmm. We need to do prevention on that. Veterans really need an advocate if they're going to apply for benefits mm -hmm. in the Veterans Administration. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and a DAV is very, very well prepared to do that. Well, my first experience was I was uh, uh, after I got out of the Marine Corps, I was a student at UW Stout, and uh, I was advised that there were benefits available to uh, veterans. So I, I contacted the DAV, who was well known in the state of Wisconsin as being helpful for veterans. I uh, was a disabled veteran and I wanted to still be part of something, an organization with men and women that were in the military. It's been a great experience uh, working with not only the men but the women that have really accomplished a lot. The DAV is, is an advocate for veterans rights and um, you know the the more are involved the, the greater chance we have for uh, effective advocacy mm -hmm. and uh, and support for those that really need it. I felt it was important that uh, I step forward to in support of of all our nation's disabled American veterans. Um, you know, there's a connection all veterans have, whether disabled or not, and um, I just felt the time was right for me to step forward and see what I could do to help. When I think about DAV, I think of service. And that's what hits me more than anything. We have uh, the DAV transportation program, which is huge. Uh, I, until I got involved with DAV, I really didn't understand. But a lot of times, you know, you'll be on the highway, and all of a sudden you'll see these vehicles zoom down the road. And those vehicles are manned by volunteers. Those vehicles, you know, are paid for by a special arrangement with the Ford Motor Company. And what happens is that you may have a um, service-connected injury, but how do you get to your medical appointments? And DAV makes sure that those people get there. So to bring it home right here to Oshkosh, right here to this area, Monday through Friday, in the morning at uh, Perkins, the van will actually come up and take people to their appointments. So DAV is an active force right in this community. Uh, we're involved with advocacy. Uh, we assist with employment. Uh, you know, we help we help those veterans that uh, may be struggling with uh, with some issues as to how that's how the system works. We also have a great sense of camaraderie, and we have a good time together. And I know for myself, after I retired from the military. Um, it was a struggle that first year, kind of finding, you know, how I fit in and how life worked. And DAV kind of brought a lot of that old camaraderie right back. And so for me, DAV is like second family. For me, it, it was uh, the camaraderie with other veterans that 
the same thing happen to them as what happened to me. I enjoy doing it because I'm helping veterans. That's, that's what I love doing, mm -hmm. is helping other veterans. Veterans have a commonality no matter what branch of service, what time frame or whatnot. But, uh, you know, where else can I go that I can have a conversation with a Korean War veteran mm -hmm. or a Vietnam veteran and, uh, and, and just and talk like veterans talk, and, you know, in language we all understand. Uh, so, yeah, the camaraderie is great. DAV is just a great organization that helps other veterans. We do have the national DAV website. Uh, the state of Wisconsin also has an excellent web website that has our news alerts, uh, activities, our mission statements, uh, has information about all of the chapters beyond Winnebago County as well. And DAV, Winnebago County Chapter 17, we are on Facebook. So just check us out. Go on Facebook and you'll find us and you'll find the latest and greatest information. Oshkosh Today was supported in part by the Friends of OCM. Dorora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. And House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard.